Whether you call them myths, fables, or folklore, tales of crazy creatures have been told and retold all over the world since the dawn of time. While some are completely out there, what would you do if I told you that some were actually, well, out there? First, because we've got to get this one out of the way early, you either love them or hate them, are so sick of hearing about them or literally can't get enough. Half of you are going to roast me in the comments for even mentioning them, and the other half would have been pissed if I didn't bring them up. So did you guess mermaids? Okay, good, because it was obvious. Mermaids are probably the most popular mythical creatures to date, with origin stories coming from just about every corner of the globe. And just in case you've been living under an actual boulder, mermaids are humanoid mammal fish that generally come with the top half of a beautiful woman and the bottom half of some kind of mix between dolphins and marlin. Also known as sirens and said to be quite the charmers with a nice set of pipes, as thousands of stories exist about the creatures luring sailors to their watery death with nothing more than their beauty and a song. I guess beauty really is in the eye of the drunken sailor because it appears as though what was once thought to be a creature of ultimate fantasy is actually just a manatee or dugong, also referred to as a sea cow. So myth busted? Well, the thing is, manatees are generally only found in waters of about 3 to 7 feet deep, maximum 10 to 17, which kind of begs the question, are we really sure that a dugong is all the sailors saw out on the rolling deep sea in the dead of night? Well, I'll put it to you this way. To date, only 5% of the ocean has been explored, so we never really know. Next up, we have the Lernaean Hydra, a creature that finds its origins based in Greek mythology. The Hydra is said to have been birthed by the mother and father of monsters, and to have three to seven heads, toxic breath and blood, as well as regenerative and immortal properties. Hercules was the one to defeat the creature in a daring battle in which he cut off the monster's heads only to watch in horror as they grew back stronger. Eventually, however, Hercules realized that by cauterizing the point of breakage between neck and head, he no longer had this problem. As Hercules came closer to victory, the mother of the beast, fearful for its demise, sent a giant crab down to the river in which the snake-like creature lived in order to assist it in the battle. But success was not given to the monsters that day as they both perished in the fight. A three-headed corn snake, appropriately named none other than Hydra, is our modern day version of the giant reptilian creature. The three heads are due to a phenomenon referred to as polycephaly that creates mutations within the animals. What do you think? So you know the giant crab I mentioned like just a minute ago? Well, yeah, that's actually real too. Surprise! This mythical creature comes to us in the form of a Japanese spider crab. These monsters that come from the deep sea are massive, with a possible leg span of up to 13 feet across and a diet that consists of dead or decaying fish. So basically corpses. Not only that, but the creatures are said to be immortal as they are thought to live for over a hundred years and also have the ability to regenerate their limbs. Another fun fact, when the giant crab reaches adulthood, its center body stops growing, but just like human ears and noses, its legs will continue to grow throughout its lifespan. Oh, and females of the species can also lay up to 1.5 million eggs within a single birthing season. So yeah. Super cool. Next on the list, we have the Ningen, a staple of mid-2000s Japanese folklore. This aquatic whale-like humanoid is said to roam throughout the icy waters of the Antarctic region. The creature was reportedly first sighted by both Japanese fishing and research vessels claiming to have seen the human-like figures within the waters beneath their boats. The Ningen, which means human in Japanese, is said to be somewhere between 60 and 90 feet long, meaning it's ginormous, and many people believe the animal's existence is being covered up by the government because of the fact that the original video said to have captured the Ningen has since been wiped from all corners of the internet. However, it appears that three photographs do still remain available for our viewing pleasure. One taken from a remote operated camera that depicts the creature in a greenish glow, another from an aerial view showing off its massive size, and one more captured through ROV, remote operated vehicle footage, depicting the creature floating eerily in the dark of the deep sea. At our halfway point, we have the jackalope. Believe it or not, the horned rabbit is in fact real, and also 
way creepier than we thought. The legend of the jackalope found its origins in North American folklore described as a jackrabbit with the horns of an antelope. While some cultures view the animal as an omen of bad luck, others view it as a sign of good fortune. In reality, it's actually neither. I mean, it's kind of bad luck for the rabbit, as the occurrence of the horns, which look more like random spikes than antelope antlers, is due to a disease called Shope palinoma virus, which originally appeared in cottontails, not jackrabbits, and is closely related to the HPV virus. However, the Shope strain is non-transmittable from animals to humans. The disease which causes hard, dark warts to grow on the face of cottontails has now also been found within bush rabbits, black-tailed jackrabbits, snowshoe hares, European rabbits, and even domestic ones too. Next we have the sea serpent, not something you really want to see on a day out in the water. Or maybe you do, as mythologically speaking, serpents were said to be representative of creative life force as well as fertility. Along with that, the fabled shedding of the oceanic reptile skin has been said to represent transformation, rebirth, and immortality. So how does all this talk of omens and myths translate to reality? The Titano Boa, a 47 foot long aquatic snake estimated to have lived 58 to 60 million years ago, discovered, fossilized of course, in the early 2000s by the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute in a coal mine deep within the rainforests of Colombia. Now, because the Titanoboa is now extinct, I'll give you a two for one. Today, scientists believe that the creature many sailors mistakenly mistook for a sea serpent is none other than the oarfish. As I mentioned in my previous video, that thing can grow up to be 36 feet long, making it the largest bony fish alive today. No 47 foot long prehistoric sea snake, but it is pretty close. This next one is for all of my Game of Thrones fans out there who I'm pretty sure like me will be very happy to learn that, no not dragons guys, I'm a researcher not a miracle worker, but like I said, dire wolves actually do exist. Well, did exist. Like I said, I'm no miracle worker. Episcion haydeni, as they are scientifically referred to, went extinct around 5 million years ago, so we just missed them. But our human ancestors might have lived amongst them, as our earliest record of human life does date back to sometime between 5 and 7 million years ago. The massive canid would have stood 35 inches, about 3 feet tall at the shoulder, and had a length of just 1.2 inches shy of 8 feet long. The largest canine alive today, and therefore the closest depiction we have to the dire wolf, is the gray wolf, which comes in at an honestly just slightly less impressive shoulder height of 30 inches and body length of 6 feet. Next up is the Kraken. Like mermaids, I guarantee you've heard of this one before, but if not, here it goes. A gigantic, legendary sea monster and another yet major enemy of our seafaring sailor friends, the Kraken has been known to sink ships in minutes with its gigantic squid-like tentacles and beak. Well, not so much squid-like as squid exactly. Thought to be nothing more than a myth up until 1856 when the discovery of the giant squid took place in 1856, when a Danish zoologist uncovered records of Danish men having caught the creature all the way back in 1550. The largest giant squid, also known as the chief squid, discovered to date is an insane 13 meters long, that's almost 43 feet, and weighs 495 kilograms, which is 1,091 pounds. So while the animal probably wouldn't have been able to sink gigantic fleets of voyager ships as the legends tell, I'm guessing it wouldn't have much trouble taking down a rowboat or two. Guys, I hate to do this to you because I so wanted it to be true that an inconceivably large shark species was roaming around the deep to one day be discovered by marine scientists and research experts, but the thing is, the megalodon just isn't that big. I mean, it's huge, but also some reports have suggested that it's literally the same size as a whale shark, and actually a bit smaller, as the largest whale shark apparently measured up to 18.5 meters, 60 feet, whereas the megalodon was said to have measured in at just 18 meters, 59 feet. But I get it, you're looking for a giant carnivorous shark. So let me give you this, an even bigger shark, I'm talking about a mega sized megalodon, possibly measuring in at more than 30 meters or 100 feet, might have existed at some point. 
You see, before humans began spreading out across the globe, there was something called megafauna, which basically just refers to really large animals, some examples being the dire wolf, mammoths, saber toothed tigers, and woolly rhinoceroses. When humans began to encroach on the lands of these animals, it is predicted that there was not enough resources to support both them and our Homo sapien ancestors. And because they were much larger than us, and therefore most likely had longer gestation periods and required more food and land, as we said hello to the agricultural revolution, we unfortunately waved goodbye to the majority of the world's megafauna on land. And when the fishing industry began to pick up, aquatic megafauna began to die off as well, most likely including the mega megalodon. But who knows? Again, only 5% of the ocean has been explored to date. All right, guys, before we get into the last one, please let me know the weirdest creature that you've ever seen down below in the comments. Lastly, we have the chimera, a creature often referred to in Greek mythology as an amalgamation of many different animals fused together. And this thing is so cool to look at. The creature was discovered in the 1980s in the Karoo region of South Africa, and it's still around today, but the earliest fossil found so far dates all the way back to around 280 million years ago. But it is said that the species first came to be after diverging from their shark relatives almost 400 million years ago. Due to their ghostly appearance and their close relation to sharks via their prehistoric shark ancestors, this species has been appropriately nicknamed the ghost shark. Straightforward. I like it. The ghost shark can be found in pretty much all oceans except for the Arctic at a depth of about 2,600 to 8,500 feet. They weigh generally between 5.5 to 8.8 .8 pounds and are a cartilage based animal. They have one gill on either side of their bodies and have an upper jaw fused to their skull. Think about taking a swim with one of these as you fall asleep tonight. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. It was a really fun one to do. Feel free to let us know what you'd like to see next time in the comments. I've been your host, Hannah Thompson, and I will see you in the next video.